Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tanika and in today's video I am going to be testing out some Charlotte Tilbury makeup products. Now I am a drugstore gal through and through. I get a little bit nervous spending a lot of money on high-end products because if they don't do what they say they're going to do or they don't perform how I want them to perform, it's a lot more disappointing because you spent so much more of your hard-earned cash on that product. I was very, very lucky to be sent some Charlotte Tilbury makeup products, so I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to really put them to the test and let you know if they're actually worth the price. I feel like Charlotte Tilbury as a brand has this reputation of being very elegant, very high-end, and very luxurious. So let's see if I get that vibe from these products. If you're excited for this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up while you're watching. And if you're new here, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. I'm just going to start out with my L'Oreal Anti Redness Primer. I am looking quite red today, so let's even out this skin tone, shall we? Then I'm just going to take my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer and cover up some of these blemishes. So first up from Charlotte Tilbury, I have the Magic Foundation in the shade One Fair. Now this shade is described to be neutral beige for very fair skin with a cool undertone. Now I would have preferred a foundation with a neutral undertone, but the shade fairer than this and the two to three shades above this all say that they are cool undertoned. Now this foundation is described to have a demi-matte long lasting finish. It says it lasts for 13 hours. It's buildable and it will leave your skin looking plump and hydrated. First up, the packaging does feel quite luxe. It's in a glass bottle with the nice rose gold lid. It has a pump, yes. All right, I'm going to start out with two pumps. A little bit of a runny formula. I actually think the shade looks quite nice. It doesn't look too cool. All right, so I'm going to just brush some of this foundation all over and then blend it out with my sponge. Okay, blending out that layer, that is absolutely light coverage. I can still see everything. Did it say full coverage? I'm pretty sure it said it was full coverage. Yeah, it's definitely described as full coverage. I'll put on another layer and see. Let's do the rest of my face first. Okay, so I have used all of those two pumps. Definitely light coverage. I can still see everything. Like, I, I don't mind it, but it says it's full coverage. It is clinging to some of my pimples on my chin. Let's see here. Oh, oh, oopsie. <laughs> see here and this big one here. I'll go in with another layer and see how well it builds up. Now, this foundation does retail for 65 Australian dollars and it comes in 20 shades. Okay, so putting on that extra layer definitely built up the coverage, but it is still not full by any means. I would say medium now. I feel like the shade is a really good match. I'm very happy with that. I'm not too impressed with the clinging to my dry patches, but it is described to be a demi-matte formula. That could be why. It looks quite nice around my nose and on my forehead. It's not clinging to anything up there. And I feel as though I'm getting a little bit of a glow from it. I'll just turn the brightness down and give you a real close-up. Do you know what foundation it's reminding me of? This is my Kmart $6 foundation. Charlotte Tilbury $65 foundation. 
the textures feel very similar as well like that lightweight kind of sheer formula I'm tripping out and then when you put the lids on I know where Kmart got their inspiration. <laughs> I'm going to go in with my normal concealer and powder routine. I'll be using my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer and then my Models Prefer Mineral Finishing Veil Powder. I'll also go in with a little bit of the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Powder. Okay, so things are looking better now that I've put powder on. I also put a little bit of that e.l.f. concealer over my blemishes on my chin because it is a hydrating formula and it has made them look so much better. I feel like the coverage I have now is that medium to full, but the foundation on its own is definitely not a full coverage. Now I have gone ahead and put some of my Becca bronzer on. Look at this. Like I'm nearly done. This bronzer is worth every single cent. It is amazing and I've already got a backup. But back to Charlotte Tilbury, I'll be going in with the Cheek to Chic blush in the shade Love Glow. Now this is a two-tone blush. It comes in a variety of different shades and it retails for $60. It's described to be a creamy and pearlescent formula, buildable and gives an even glow. So I'm expecting it to leave a little bit of a sheen to the skin. A very sheer formula so far, but I can definitely see that sheen that it's giving. I have another blush product here and this is the Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand in the shade Pink Gasm. So the Beauty Light Wands come in a variety of blush and highlighter shades. They have a sponge tip applicator and they're a very glowy product. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this onto the back of my hand. Okay, I said a little bit and then look how bloody much I put. All right, I'm just going to spread it out on my hand with the applicator. So this is the shade here, a bit deeper than the powder blush, and it actually looks very pigmented. So I think I'm just going to go in with the bum of my sponge, tap a little bit on there, and I think this is a very glowy product. So that's what it looks like sheared out. Look at that sheen. So I'm just going to very strategically place this maybe up the top of my cheeks here so it's not down here making my texture look, <laughs> you know. Okay, I'm loving the pigment that it is adding. I do like quite a pigmented blush and the glow is stunning. Ooh, okay, I think I like this. Okay, I am loving that. This is where I think high-end products are worth the investment. Something like a powder blush you can easily get from the drugstore. Affordable, does a fantastic job. I don't think that this powder blush is worth the $60, but the liquid blush Definitely. The drugstore is starting to come out with a lot more cream and liquid blushes, but something like this that has such a beautiful sheen and glow, it's nicely pigmented. It's something that really performs and stands up to the reputation of the Charlotte Tilbury name. So I would definitely spend the money on the Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand, but not so much the powder blush. Oh, that is so pretty. And you just, you don't need that much. Okay, I just wasted so much product. Next, I'm going to go in with the one and only Charlotte Tilbury products that I previously had in my collection, and that is the Hollywood Beauty Light Wand in the shade Spotlight. So same kind of deal as the blush, but this is a highlighter shade. Now I've had this for a while now, and it is beautiful. The glow it gives, oh, it just blends so beautifully into the skin and it looks glowy and metallic but natural at the same time it's just stunning now I have learned I should have known with the blush that you don't need a lot of this I usually just squeeze up a little bit and then close the lid and some comes out now I'm going to take I might just take my finger and take a little bit off of the sponge tip and tap that on my cheekbones Like, look at that. <laughs> I love it. I'm just going to 
blend a little bit out with my sponge. Look at that glow. Oh my God. <laughs> See, again, this is something that I think is definitely worth spending the money on. It is beautiful. The next couple of products are for my lips. So I'm going to quickly do my brows and eyeshadow and I'll be right back. All right, eyes are done. I actually just filmed a first impression on the new Natasha Denona Glam Palette. So I will link that down below if you're interested in watching it. For lip liner, I have the Lip Cheat Lip Liner in the classic shade Pillow Talk. I feel like this is one of their most popular products. This is what it looks like swatched. I feel as though this is one of the most raved about products from Charlotte Tilbury and it's meant to be quite a universal lip shade. All right, it's a very creamy formula and it glides well. There's no skipping. All right, so I really like the shade of it. It feels nice on the lips. It's described to be waterproof and long lasting. I think it says up to six hours of wear. Is it any different from, say, a Rimmel lip liner? Hmm, we'll have to wait and see. For lipsticks, I have two shades from the Kissing Collection. First up is Penelope Pink, and next I have the Kim KW. Now, the packaging of these are absolutely stunning. The Kim K lipstick does have a different shape to Penelope Pink. So this is Penelope Pink and this is the Kim K. Now these retail for $49 each. They are said to be a creamy formula, very hydrating, and it captures light and reflects back. Interesting. All right, swatching it on my hand. It does have a bit of a satin finish, very creamy. Here we have Kim KW and Penelope Pink. I'm going to go in with both. Kim KW looks too light on its own, so I'm going to put that in the center of the lip. Oh my, that is an absolutely beautiful formula. It's more of a peachy nude as opposed to a pink. Let me go in with the Kim K now. Okay, I am loving this lip combo. You could definitely find these shades in a cheaper option, but I think there's something really luxurious feeling about having a lipstick like this. It is just so beautiful. I would say that these are worth the money if you want to splurge. All right, well, this is the finished makeup look testing out some Charlotte Tilbury makeup products. I think my favorite of the bunch would have to be the blush and then the Penelope Pink lipstick. Absolutely beautiful. I think the foundation I definitely need to continue to test out. I wasn't very impressed with how it clung to my dry patches or that the coverage was not full when it's described to be full. Whenever I look at purchasing a product from a very luxe high-end brand, I always do a lot of research to make sure that I am going to really enjoy this product. So I hope that my little first impressions and reviews helped you out today. If you have any Charlotte Tilbury makeup products that you love or any ones that didn't quite work out for you, I would love it if you would leave a comment down below so everyone can have a read. I wouldn't actually mind trying some of their eyeshadow palettes, maybe the little four quads. I know Jessica Braun here on YouTube absolutely loves one of the quads. I can't quite remember which one, but she raves about it. All right, well, if you enjoyed watching it, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I would love it if you would subscribe. I hope you are all having a fabulous day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.